Hey Riddle here and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're a subscriber. I really appreciate it. So last year I had plum trees and they didn't produce plums and partially I believe it's because of the lack of bees because it's so early in the season and it's been on it's really cold around here. So it's tricky for bees to function in temperatures below 60 degrees. The second thing is you need different types of fruit trees to cross pollinate if you don't have two of the same tree, but often they suggest having different species. So this one is my, oh geez, sorry, I'm a little bit of a brain problem, my Santa Rosa. This is my Santa Rosa, and then this is an elephant plum, and they said that these two cross pollinate really well. I also have an Italian prune, and I also have these Damson plums, which are uh, from France, and they are amazing. So because these aren't blooming at all, and the, fi the plum isn't blooming at all, but this has started to bloom, and this is probably going to pop open in the next couple days, but maybe without bees, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a pollination experiment. So what we're going to do, I have a Ziploc bag that I've labeled for plums, and I've taken one of my really fluffy paint brushes. And the reason I chose this brush is so that it will collect a ton of pollen. And as you know, pollen's fairly microscopic. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect as much of this pollen as I can. And hopefully in a day or so, when these open up, transfer it to these flowers with the paintbrush and see if that's going to uh, bring me some fruit, make more fruit and do the job that the poor bees can. And if I'm really, really lucky, this will keep flowering just long enough that I'll be able to get, or this will open early enough that I'll be able to get some pollen from this and transfer it into this plum tree. And I will let you know the success of this in a few months once the trees start to form fruit. Okay, thanks for coming to my channel. I believe success in the future with how quickly the environment is changing is going to be all based on a form of intelligence from the old world, and that is hands-on, which is exciting because we've become so complacent to following, and it gives us an opportunity for our brains to be used and to start evolving again with our intelligence. Okay, thanks for watching. If you enjoy my quick, practical, money-saving tips, organic gardening, uh, plant and garden experimentation, arts, home repair, and occasional magic, don't let the magic scare you, please subscribe. It helps. Bye.